And now Clay Lacey talked about that aviators, they're sort of, um, they're honest and there's integrity and character in that, those type of people. It's like a fraternity in a way. You think that's I, I think he's right, yeah. I, I know him through the Reno Air Races too. And, and we, you know, we operate uh, little airports, um, El Monte, Whiteman, Pomona, and uh, have operated big FBOs, fixed base operation, and that's what Clay does. And he always shows up and we dedicate, uh, like we dedicated the DC-3 monument, which I'll show you a picture of, at Santa Monica. And he, the three DC-3s showed up, it was great. But he, he's a good guy. So the, the um, one thing I've talked to a lot of the aviators, the pilots, that, that one of the things they like about flying is the freedom. Oh, have you ever heard of high flight? Yes, I have. You believe in that? I believe in that. And what I try to do is read it to myself every day. I mean, it's so joyful. And the, the word freedom is in there. <laughs> and, you know, I've touched the very face of God, you know, and I've, I've tread in areas you never even thought of. And it, it's true. I'm happy to read it to you. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and read it? That'd be great. We can get that right on, on camera. Yeah. I think it'd be real nice. High Flight, you know, written by a Canadian, actually. 19 years old when he died flying a Spitfire. Oh, I have slipped the Shirley Bonds of Earth and danced the skies on laughter-silvered wings. Sunward I have climbed and joined the tumbling mirth of sun-split clouds and have done a hundred things you have not dreamed of. Wheeled and turned, swung high in the sunlit silence. How, I probably should use my glasses here. Hovering there, I've chased the shouting wind along and flung my eager craft through the footless halls of air. Up, up the long, delirious, burning blue, I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace where never lark or even eagle flew. And here's the sobering one. And while with silent lifting mind, I've tried the high untrust sanctity of space and put out my hand and touched the very face of God. The poem was written by a young American, it says here, John Gillespie McGee, who flew with the Royal Canadian Air Force in England start of World War II. He was killed shortly after he composed High Flight. But it, uh, and I, I, I read it to myself to remind myself of the good fortune and not take it for granted. Now the, after the service, you, you went into business or did you do other, you went to law? After the service, I went to UCLA Law School. And once again, my buddy, Don Rumsfeld, I said, Don, you can't, I'm just so, feeling so fortunate I got accepted to UCLA Law School. And he said, well, David, you know, you can hire those guys for $5 an hour. Thanks, Don. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So I went to UCLA and ended up with a big law firm. I mean, we represented Bill Holden and uh, Bing Crosby and Marlon Brando. Uh, then I went to work for a wonderful businessman named Joe Drown, who owned the Beller Hotel and Biff's Coffee Shops, Don the Beachcomber, and ended up running those companies for him. 